Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, hopefully my timing is right on these real quick. Hang on. Just making sure my filters are right for how delayed everything needs to be. Yeah, alright, we should be good. Um, I'm Jordan, JK390. Uh, fair warning, I didn't stream yesterday because I got unnecessarily sick. Um, you know, vomits, blah blah blah, all that nasty stuff. Um, so if I randomly have to run, you know, I've, I'll switch to the away screen. Uh, there's your fair warning of why. Anyway, with that to the side and out of the way, um, we've, you know, done all, we did the DLC last time. Um, both of them, there was an asteroid field over here too. We finished all the other missions, we did all the side quests. So now I guess it's finally time to go to Vermeer and try and really start finishing this game. We're chasing the oops, sorry, we're chasing the ex Spectre Sarin through the galaxy. He's working for the Reapers now. Or a a single Reaper. Or at the very least, a computer that claims to be a reaper, which are basically ancient beings that uh, are egotistical dickheads. So not not too far and distant between uh, from me, but still. Make sure it's okay. Nothing else for us on this in this galaxy. Okay, so Vermeer must have been the one we already did. So never mind, we're not going to Vermeer. We are going to... I guess here. Ilos, 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 Ilios. Again, another Overwatch reference because I'm, I'm original. Oops. So again, also good to have my, my morning hair. I think it keeps with the aesthetic the aesthetic though of just early morning streams. So yeah, this is where we gotta go. Stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. She has a penis. We our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. have to do this not unless you're sure play the good guy card never been more sure then it's their fault if something bad happens will you join with me shepherd let our bodies and minds unite okay just tell me what to do oh no that's not the mines this isn't safe for twitch at all Oh wait, no, I know how to
by the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Let's go again. Where is so is I, but okay. No, it's okay, Matt. I hit it. We, I hit the stuff. <laughs> it comes back and I just don't have a shirt on. It was like, man, that was awesome. Actually, it's not doing anything too bad. Um, mainly a bunch of weird crawling around and a lot of uh, motion blur whenever they're trying to make it look romantic. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. That's when I realized Joker was listening the whole time. Because we have our headsets in. Luckily, I don't make any sounds. Thank you for everything. <coughs> yeah, he does. picked us up yet stealth systems are engaged unless we get close enough for a visual they won't have any idea where, where did we get our clothes back on strange readings from the planet surface I shouldn't even think Shepard took his off lock in on the coordinates which makes it even more impressive in the nearest landing zones two clicks away <coughs> we'll never make it in time on foot get us something closer there is nowhere closer I've looked drop us in the Mako you need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Perfect. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our I, only option. I know they record all the people at different times. It's not an option. It's a suicide but run. We don't they really should have made sure everybody was the same mentality when doing this stuff. I can do it. Some people are yelling, some people are like, oh no, this is bad. And then other people are just like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Which of course is Caden. Okay. We'll just keep the squad. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that the, the voice actress for Liara was Lightning. Or does she just sound like her? Ah, what a poorly made ship. It looked very cartoony when it was first taking off. Which is weird for an animated game. <coughs> God, all that motion blur. That's too much. It really, it, it honestly does hurt my head. I'm not used to it anymore. It'd probably work better on a standard definition television. Speaking of which, um... Oh, okay. I'll, uh... Mass Effect 2, I'll finally actually be able to do the hacking things on it. This bunker before Saren finds the conduit. I'll wait for this. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. <coughs> But yeah, on standard definition televisions for Mass Effect 2, um, the hacking parts, all of the stuff looks like it's overly compressed and forced together. Alright, I guess that is the way I'm gonna have to go. Um, so you just don't, like whenever you try and hack, you can't tell what you're clicking on. So it was just a game of randomly click and hope. Until you eventually got it. It, it was like the worst thing, because you'd be there forever. After the DLC crap, these enemies have nothing on me. Those ones might. Yeah. <laughs> the big, the big uh, energy attacks, just like rockets, or can one hit? Can one hit Shepard even with full shields? Which is crazy. 
But still, the normal guys, I've got nothing after the ones we had to fight on the DLC stuff. Hey, Kevin. Alright, let's try and take out the big scary things first. Actually, you know what? We'll just keep distant and pick these guys off, then focus the big guys. There they are. Um, throw. Yeah. There. And I think there's still one more enemy back here as well. Got this little Heidi boy back here. Not sure where, though. What happened yesterday, Kevin, during the stream? I, uh, I didn't go, but that's because I was, you know, vomiting all over the place. So what's this way, then? Just an area? Oh, no, this is a whole, a whole other thing, huh? set to finish the game, but realized how underleveled I am for the fight, so stream ended up with two hours of grinding and two attempts. Nice. As long as you kept it entertaining for people while you did the grinding. My last episode of this, which was, again, two days ago, because I was too sick to stream yesterday, sadly, um, was just all the DLC both, both DLC packs for this game, which is cool because I didn't know they existed, so I'd never played them. Nobody's in the stream? I mean, that's fine. Still talk as though there are people there. That's kind of what I do. Because uh, regardless of the fact, after it's done, it's going to become a like Let's Play video. It says there's something back here, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh well. I once again sold all the stuff to the one guy, like three items in, I was already maxed out with money, so he just basically got like, I don't know, like 140 free things. Not that again, that it really matters whenever I'm this maxed out with money and everything in the game. Excuse me. Now I gotta go check the other side and make sure there isn't just something like that that I just didn't realize I could climb. Because that sounds like my luck, actually. 
Or maybe even that block if I could just use like the push move on it and push it over. Yeah, I could totally go up that. I don't know why in my mind whenever I went by there the first time I couldn't. It's like it seemed like it was a wall, but it most definitely was not. Consider yourself taken out. One more, there it is. Yeah, I see how it is, Kevin. You don't want to stay? That's fine. I, I didn't want you here anyway. So, what is the. What is this? Oh, the elevator. Okay. Nothing fresh, new, or cool there. I don't think I can use it, can I? Yeah. I gotta go out, around, and back. So again, we check this area, but how thoroughly? Just make sure there's nothing else over here. Then we'll circle back around. Why is Tally's health so low? Why do I have to use a, a stim pack for her to use one? I mean, I realize I don't want the characters to waste yours, but you think they just kind of have, like, their own? Okay, this way seems like it doesn't have anything, right? Yeah, so we'll check over here. Wait, what am I doing? I can just, uh, nope, not, nope. There we go. Jesus. There we go. I'm glad I upgraded the crap out of Singularity. Anything back here? No. Nope. Oh, I'm put to sleep. Oh wow, there's nobody over here. Oh no, there were still a couple. Okay. Let's just do this. Wow, that was a heck of a shot. Oh, it's an elevator. Yeah, let's not use that yet. We'll get to it. Just not yet. Plus, there must be more enemies around if something's jamming me.
Oh no. Mm. Well, I guess taking the elevator. Oh, is this the area he was walking through in the cutscene? No, there are more, uh, sleeping people there. can do that. Hopefully at least pulls the other guys in. Yeah, because a rocket hit right by us. Ready to kill those Geth Destroyer. Z well, that almost hit him. But he did waste his rocket, I think, just then. Um. Huh. Oh, there we go. It's like the game's not fully registering that he exists. There. My friends? Okay. That probably would have helped me fight, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so everybody gets up here. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found him, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. You're too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. Nose. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. No, I just took it in college. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Is that how attractive I was? of desperation. The conduit... All is lost. They lost the conduit. <laughs> Start making crap up with it. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. Well, there you go. The conduit cannot be stopped. Is 
Now we're gonna take the other elevator from earlier, the one that goes downstairs. Or the one I have to go downstairs to get to. Oh boy, 117 experience. What is this? Ah. A strategic vantage point, if I do say so myself. There were so many possibilities from going up there. I'm glad they programmed it in. Now I guess if I played like full sniper class, that would have been pretty good. Alright, I don't remember how I got down here. Okay, it's just back that way. Actually, is there anything hidden over here by these guys? No. We shouldn't be here. Not us. Not the get. Not Seren. How do I? How do I get out of here? Also, where's Rex? Why can't I leave? Oh, I gotta go that way, I guess. I'm glad Rex is still waiting up there for me. Is this just summon another one of the weird kitty looking things, the the robo drafts? Yep. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Did I miss one over here? Can I get four? Oh, no, I've got all four. Okay. Yeah, I've got all four. Rex, what are you doing? I guess Rex doesn't want to go. Oh, okay, there we go. Do they only have two toes? Toes in a burp. Excuse me, there he goes. Sorry about that. Okay, now we're back to where we were. So now I want to try the uh, the downstairs one. Is it this way? Is 
That's just how you get up on the platform over there, right? To see above them. Or is that a different area entirely? Yeah, no, was, that was what I thought it was. And then down here. There's the other elevator. The one I went by earlier. Oh, wow. That seems work different than every other elevator in the game. Okay, I guess that was it. Can I not jump down? Oh, maybe I can go to the archive door now. Maybe that would that would make sense, right? I went down, activated the beacon thing. We'll find out. I liked it better when it first took off and just didn't have a door. Oops. At least I kind of got a basic remembrance of this map now. Or region or area or whatever. Yeah, it worked. There's a lot of just random water shooting out from the Mako there. No, oh, okay. That just that seemed like some rare secret I could go, but fan. like those. Oh, I didn't realize that was something I'd get stuck on. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something... But what if it worked? What an ambush. They almost had me. <sighs> What's happening? It's a trap. Zerd must have set an ambush. I don't think Zerd's behind us. Is this a, you must walk through this type deal? Yes. 
What if I touch it normally? Okay. Oh, that's the trap. Alright, gotcha. I guess I can't save here, so I'm just going to continue along and hope we don't get killed and have to do all this again. Because that would suck. Because I realized that you couldn't. That's why GP doesn't speak German when he talks to us. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. So there you go. Basically the big mass relay is how we teleport from planet, or like galaxy to galaxy with zero worry whatsoever. They'll do the exact same thing, but it goes to the areas where all the reapers live. <laughs> if he turns on the relay, the reapers can wipe out the council and the citadel fleet in one fell swoop. Correct. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The reapers seized control of the citadel and threw it the mass relays. And then left for some reason. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. So those ones survived? These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. It's like Terminator. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't Good question. Understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our world Dark space. Bear, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain then how do I keep finding... Oh, whatever. Been extinguished. The Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, 
no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. I don't understand. Where did the Our Reapers go? Was strict bear. I don't know where. I want to know why. Because, I mean, if, it, if stuff was going to come back, I mean, what do they have to do in dark space? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. It's weird they also called it the Citadel. The it's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I mean, if the power was the issue, why not just open the pod and be like, hey, you're awake now? I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. That's how you start a population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, That's the bug guys on the, on the Citadel. Station ...compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. I don't want to ask him. I want to say I figured it out by myself. Transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle on extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. I'm glad Krogan's asking, or uh, Kr Krogan, Rex is asking the real questions. Your destination. Saren's got a number. Oops. I probably should have investigated, just found out some more stuff around there, but that's okay. We're good. Um, uh, anything actually good? 
No. Okay. Map. Cool. It's still amazing that she knew it wasn't, um, Saren that set that trap for us. Because, you know, the random AI did so that we'd go and meet him. How did she know? Yeah, I guess my character can't talk during those scenes because I have to select everything Shepard says. Oh, it's the aqueduct. Okay. Again, though, this whole thing is very, uh... Whoop. Uh, just one way to go, so... I don't have to worry about any weird offshoots or anything like that. It's very linear. I guess would be the proper term to use here. Please quit being in tank. Cause it's weird because it's t tank tracks, but the tracks themselves, obviously, as I've said before, don't rotate. Um, so it just switches back and forth between forward and backwards, depending on which way you're looking. But whenever you're looking mid-ground is whenever it really starts to throw you off, because it'll just... Like, see, now backwards is forward. Nope. Both forwards and backwards are forwards right now. There we go. Actually, I should probably pull this guy down so he stops shooting me. Okay, it's doing its stupid thing again. Take his stupid shield off, there we go. Oh, sweet dodge. It's amazing how much your face starts to itch when you stream, or at least for me. Maybe I just become a lot more aware of it. What the heck? Sweet trick. Okay. Wasn't as sweet of a trick as I'd hoped, but it was still a pretty sweet trick. I'd say it was still a top tier trick.
What time is it? It's almost 9 a.m. All right. Ooh, relay. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. There's the Sovereign. Such a cool ship. Such a cool name for a ship. Closing in 30 seconds. I might get a bit of a different um, ending than last time. The third game, of course, is where the major endings all are. There's like seven of them, but... Get off of me! There. Whoa. Who would have guessed the car would have gotten teleported through? Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency Coolest cutscene in the game. Mako Tsunami shoots through and smashes two Geth. Alright, but the gentleman's club's still fine, right? I think I talked to her more as an AI than I ever did when she was... Or as an AI, as a, as a broken AI than throughout the Citadel. Oh, that's why I had to drive through there, so I couldn't go in and explore the other parts of the Citadel, right? Yeah, like, that's it right now. Um, it needs to render in everything. Oh, okay, so he shot a keeper. What the heck, dude? that Normandy want to be. A 
bet the council wishes they listen to me now, huh? Here comes that Mass Effect music. The weird synthetic style. Still, Mass Effect 2, in my opinion, is the best music in this series. Songs like Suicide Mission are so great, and um, even the main theme was the Earth one. Going back to Earth, or taking Earth, or saving Earth, or something. In fact, that might have been in uh, Mass Effect 3. ME3. go. So now we're sideways on a wall. Running up. This is the, uh... Where are you, where are you guys going? I'm glad you took an elevator up there and just smashed through. They knew exactly what floor to go to, didn't they? Must be their cool robot programming. Tally still hasn't healed. Can I just do this and make her heal? There. Rogan Warlord. There we go, just launch him off into space. Those are turrets at first. I was like, why would they have turrets on the side of a building facing uh, down? Yeah, down. All right, where do I gotta go from here? Let's see what's over here, real quick. Is that just it? And then that's where I came from, right? So this way? Yeah, this way. No, not this way. Yeah, no, it, it's, it is in fact this way. Get myself a little lost.
There's the defense turrets on the sides of the buildings. that one. Not much trouble um, the Turian fleet seemed to be having which is the most basic of those ships. I did it with two turrets on a freaking side of a building. Uh, fly into space. I have no idea where that cat went. Uh oh. I'm really glad they chose not to shoot me with that, because that would have sucked. Uh, this. I don't... I don't think there's a full Geth Trooper, but okay. Oh man, the turret's almost hidden back there. Yeah, they're shooting rockets. I need to get some type of shield back on real quick. It's like I can't really kill it until I get close enough, which is strange. Everybody heal up. Get... Yeah, I don't know if I would encourage everybody to get their shields back on or not. Oh well. Actually, I might as well see if there's any items hidden back here, right? Also, since it's like one of the only three areas in the game you can mount to get on something, uh, I should probably use it. So, there we go. Job done. We're almost where we needed to go, though. Check back here real quick, again, just in case there's something hidden. I don't know why there would be. You know, technically speaking, it doesn't... It wouldn't make sense for there to be... Oh, this is probably where I'm going to have to go. So actually, I'm going to go back this way first, behind us. Activate what I need to activate, and then go back the other way and kill every enemy I, I see.
Oh. I remember this place. Not obviously I remember it as well from what it what it is in, in the story, but I remember it being like this, and I remember this being like a big important moment in the game, but I can't remember what happens. This isn't where the final fight is, is it? I don't think I'm there yet. I think I still have quite a bit more. Anyway, this is the beginning of the final fight. Sorry, don't be a douche. Okay. Why be a douche? The only other person besides me that's got grenades. Make it in time, Shepard. Let's end this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded. Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Where's Yes? Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. He should be the type of person that goes to your door and tries to give you pamphlets. I feel like he'd explain it in a lot more enjoyable way. Experience a true rebirth. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. I meant take out the hardware, but okay. Good work. So, the achievement for getting an unpossible or an unstoppable. Yeah, there's all that uh, renegade I needed. Um, an un... whatever it was, stoppable or unpreventable thing. That was one of the ways you can get it, and the other one is whenever I helped Rex, whenever he wanted to kill everybody. Basically by convincing him to destroy the... the stuff to prevent the Krogan from having their disease, the, the cure or whatever, was the other one. Uh, Riders and check my renegade. Okay, yeah, I'm almost to where I need it to be. Um... Actually...
Let's try and get her some better armor finally. She she definitely needs it. But there we go. We were able to redeem Saren. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control redeem in the same sense of like Darth Vader Great. redeem in that he still caused a lot of people to die, but it's okay. See if you can open a communications channel. The destiny is sent you. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The council is on board. I repeat, the council is on board. Norman I could probably just shoot Citadel. it right now. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. That's that large ship we saw at the beginning where the... of like this fight that the Asari were flying. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the council. Hold them back until the citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? Kind of a big deal. We need to concentrate on the sovereign. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the council. Let the council die to save the galaxy. A tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I mean, when you say it like that, it sounds like the obvious choice. Lose three people in order to save the galaxy? One of which is a blatant racist towards me, and the other two are very secretive and manipulative? I didn't say to ignore them. I'm glad that that one ship was going to save them. That's alright, Joker is the best of the best of the literal best. Yeah, he only shot through his neck and upper part of his head. No, but the issue is the fact that there's, you know, Reaper synthetics hooked into him. Well, that'll do it. He's dead. He actually used an airsoft gun to trick me. The thing that actually killed him was when he fell off his green goblin glider. Ew, yucky. I'm not sure if he self-destructed or got, like, possessed. Oh. You know what? I do remember this. This might be like the end of the game. I think he like jumps around on the walls and stuff and like sticks to crap. There's his upgrades. He's like a full synthetic now. Yep. Yep, I remember this fight. This might be the end of the game. Oh cool, I can knock him down with those. 
Come on, come back, everything. I hate that he just keeps jamming me. Oh, I can still shoot. Did you hear it still firing? I can, I can still shoot him. Which also probably means he's killing me right now as well. Uh oh. I mean, Admiral Hackett's worth listening to. Oh, he's fully shielded again. Nice. Yay, I knocked him down again. Time to destroy those freaking shield bull craps of his. Did I throw another grenade? I have no idea. Speaking of which. Alright, I you need to calm down a little bit. Now I'll use it. Hey, we did it. <laughs> the sticking him to the wall and crap cheese of lift and force powers. So the council is dead. I don't know if I had them die on my first, like my other, my other playthrough. So this could change uh, everything, to say the least. Joker, what have I told you about being a crazy person? That I want you to please keep doing it at all costs. Go! Well, see, the council chamber is destroyed anyway, so it's fine. He turned into that thing? <laughs> There's that sweet Mass Effect music again. I mean, I know it's been going, but the build-ups and the... I just love it. Video game music in general. Oh, I see a little cheesy grin from from Rex.
Hey. We got you a message, Ambassador. What's all? What is that? Actually. Oh, two playthroughs. This about. No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. <laughs> oh yeah, he punched him. <laughs> Thank me for what I did. If nobody was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. They got blown up. Job done. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. So they far, win, win, win. Us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council. One with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the council. But lead it? That's a whole different story. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They Opposed all the times that we have fought it. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from some... Alright, humans, Krogan, and Geth are going to be my council. Our courage. Our strength. The ambassador's right. The other if a Geth is there, they'll tell us when they're they attacking. Accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. <laughs> Captain Anderson. Square Ambassador Udinia. Udina. We're about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. Also because I hate you, Ambassador, you and you made a... Case. Yeah. Captain? Oh, I didn't throw a hissy fit. I don't even have to explain it to him. I don't know if any of us are ready for this, but I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. As I walk away, you know, they're like, man, he's so cool. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reaper's return and drive them back into dark space. Captain Anderson, why are you giving the final monologue? It should be Shepard's job. Oh, there I am, standing in space. And it just keeps zooming in and it becomes like ungodly pixelated. It just looks terrible. It's like all these nasty details. Boom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and everything around and in between is Mass Effect. Now we're just going to sit here and uh, enjoy this synthetic song. We're going to see all the beautiful credits from all the people that helped make this game. And then I guess we'll call it. And then after that, I guess maybe tomorrow we'll start up uh, Mass Effect 2. Pretty good song. <laughs> the lyrics are a little weird. Mainly because I'm, I, in my mind, I'm imagining like it's one of the Geth singing it. It's like you know, so automated and synthetic. I hope this isn't like Ubisoft's um, credits, because Bioware obviously doesn't have the oh, my guitar doesn't have the 200,000 companies like 
uh, Ubisoft does, where it's got people in like you know Ubisoft France and Vancouver and Ubisoft wherever else. So their credit sequences are like two hours. So hopefully this will just be this, and then it'll be done in like ten minutes at most. Yeah, thanks anybody that stopped by throughout the, uh, what has it been, 10, 10 or 11 parts that has been Mass Effect. This has actually been one of the shortest one, I think, an hour and not even 30 minutes. The, I mean, there was a two hour one that if, if I would have known about the DLC, I could have probably slid one of those in there. Actually, no, I couldn't have because I had band that day. Never mind, I had to go to band practice. Um, speaking of which, I got a gig coming up on... Well, by the time this goes up on YouTube, it'll be over, but the 25th. That I gotta get ready for. M4 Part 2. I don't think there's a Mass Effect 4, unless you mean Andromeda. That just gets confu uh, confusing. Oh, here's your people. So, yeah. Rex and additional voices. Steve Barr. Kimberly Brooks is Ash, Keith David, like I said, is David Anderson, Seth Green is Joker, Jennifer Hale is Fim Shep. Uh, I need to slow down a little bit, please. Let's see, just people, names I recognize. Unfortunately, some of them I do recognize still. Um, but it's one of those ones where it's like, I can't think of anybody else they play, or I'll, I'll know people they play and just not the, the person's name. Man, they actually had a lot of people voicing this. Imagine if this was freaking, um... Like, Bethesda with, like, Skyrim and Fallout. And it'd be, like, voice actors and, like, three names would go by and that would be it. I should cover this. I see a crap ton of delay. We're pretty much almost done now. Now we're at the point where we're seeing the, the administration. Yeah, and no, we're just the Microsoft Game Studios core team. Watch, this will be the part that's copyrighted, so when I put it on YouTube, they'll be like, oh, we're gonna cut all the audio off this. So this be me just kind of going like this, with nothing happening. Although if it doesn't cut it on Twitch and I get to do it myself on YouTube, it generally does a pretty good job extracting the audio separate, so you'll still hear me talking about it. <laughs> but that'll be it, you won't hear the music. Kiki Wolfkill. What a name. I mean, there's an Aaron Bear, but at least he's not a wolf or he'd be in trouble. What is Volt? For them to have three people from it for their... Is that the beta testers? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, all the, all the, reserve, the testers. And Excel data. God. What, do they have like a competitive scene for a campaign? <laughs> uh, coming up in Bioshock, we have Team Volt versus Excel data. Sounds like MLG seems to me.
Oh, now the Game Studios UX team. So you're going to see all Microsoft's teams as opposed to the other things. Why does Ireland have its own team for Microsoft? I mean, Irish, like, the language is a dead language. They speak English. It was, like, UK-based, and it was just, like, one guy that switched to, like, words like color. They added a U to it. You know, like, C-O-L-O-U-R, opposed to our American spelling of C-O-L-O-R. Color, as opposed to Kalower. Genevieve. That's a cool name. A very special thanks to our families and friends whose patience and support helped us reach for the stars with the sequel, Mass Effect 2. Alright, do we have any more cutscenes? Anything cool at the end? Anything spectacular gonna happen? Or is this gonna go back to the title screen? Oh, that's it! That is Mass Effect. Um, if I reload it now... Of course, where it brings you is the fight. That's it. That's everything you can do. Um, I mean, you could start a new career and bring that character in. Like, uh, man, it feels like we were just doing this. You know, I'm not gonna worry about that though. So that is Mass Effect. So thank you, everyone that's watched throughout the entire series. Um, um, anybody that's came by, anybody that's hung out, anybody that joined the stream, anybody that watches it later on YouTube. Uh, anybody that's just hung out, anything like that. Uh, I wish we could see what our total time was. I mean, I guess we could... Hang on, I'm gonna go back. There's the autosave. So it was probably about 35 hours, is about what it was, and that was 100%ing it. So that was the game. Th again, thanks to everybody. And, uh, I guess see you guys in Mass Effect 2. So, until next time, everybody. Later.